Today we're going to take a look at this 1977 Dodge Royal Monaco. And before we do the driving video, just want to point out a couple little things about the paint. You may not be able to see in the photos. There's a couple areas on this passenger side where there's a little variation or modeling of the paint. It's not real noticeable. It's pretty hard to capture. Uh, but I wanted to do it here. Another flaw is uh, just a little micro checking or crazing along this area. And then a little more of that kind of variation in the metallic or I don't know if it was over polish in that point, but just a little something there wanted you to be aware of. Overall though, the you know, car's got 26,000 miles and pretty much looks like new. Gonna do a cold start here. Show you that this car has not been started. Engine's cold. is really well optioned. AM FM, it's got working AC, just had that charged and topped off, that's blown cold. It's got cruise, uh, power windows, which operate great. Power seat. And everything works except for the gas gauge, which is kind of a drag because every this car is like a time warp and everything functions just as it should except for that. So I put a, a ground wire to the sending unit on the fuel tank, uh, thinking that might wake it up. That didn't really change anything. So it must be, you know, maybe the float in the tank needs to wake up. Maybe it's stuck. Maybe the gauge is bad. But that's the only thing in this car not working. It's unusual for a Dodge to be this well optioned. It's almost like they're trying to compete with the luxury segment of the market. I had actually never even known that a Royal Monaco Brome existed until I found this car. Uh, and then I found out it was an option with the Diplomat package, the padded roof with the stainless steel band. Uh, so kind of a rare bird, but if you're a C-body Mopar fan, you probably already knew that. I didn't.
no problems with hot starting. Car starts right up, cold or hot. 